So recently we hosted a potluck party and we cooked pork tenderloin because it's so easy and maintenance free. So I want to show you guys a really simple recipe and marinade for pork tenderloin and show you guys how to make it if you're planning on hosting a party because we love this for hosting. So when I buy pork tenderloin, this is what mine looks like. It's always pre-packaged like this in a shrink wrap, which means it keeps for a really long time in the fridge or the freezer. And I always wait until it goes on sale, buy one, get one free, which I feel like happens at most grocery stores. And the only thing that you need to cook it is a shallow pan. It can be even shallower than mine. Um, and you need some sort of rack in the bottom of it. Um, I got my pan at Target on clearance for $6.98. But the rack at the bottom is going to allow the pork to be ventilated properly and cook properly. And all you do is literally you marinate the pork, you set it on top of the rack, and you put it in the oven for 30 minutes a pound at 450 degrees. And you want to make sure that the pork is at least 160 when you take it out, but there's absolutely no squeezing juice on the pork. There's no checking on it. It's nothing. It's you plop it in and put it in the oven and don't think about it, which is why I love this recipe so much. Okay, so here are the ingredients that you need for um, the marinade for the pork tenderloin. One red onion, um, a clove of minced garlic. You also need ground ginger, sugar, and low sodium soy sauce. What's this, Charlie? A bag. Oh. To put it in. <laughs> to, to put it in and a Ziploc bag. Woohoo! So the first thing you want to do, and this is going to take a long time because of way, the way that we're doing it, but you want a about a cup or so of low sodium soy sauce. Now we're going to add two teaspoons of ginger. Gonna get another one. So what we usually do is put all of our marinades and stuff in just a little eight by eight pan like this, mm -hmm. um, just in case the bag is like breaks or something in the fridge, you don't completely ruin your fridge. Um, so the next thing is four tablespoons. Six actually. It's six? Yeah, yeah, six. Okay, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm explaining it wrong. One. Our recipe calls for four cloves of garlic, but since they're kind of small, we are just going to um, put in like five or so. Go straight in the bag with the trusty garlic press. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're just adding a whole onion to the bag. Poor Charlie, his eyes are watering. Yep. Eyes cutting it, and then and my eyes are watering, so he's like, I'll cut it, and his eyes are watering. This is a very strong onion. It is. So the last thing you want to do is add four. four tablespoons of olive oil, or really any kind of oil will do, but we're using olive oil. Okay, so here is what everything looks like. The pork is in the bag and all the stuff is ready to go. I'm just going to stick this in the fridge and we're going to let this sit for about 24 hours or so before we cook it um, for our Christmas party on Sunday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On my new channel, Do It On A Dime Family, I just posted a vlog video where I show sort of the holiday prep and um, some recipe organization and some shopping I did that day. So if you guys are interested in my vlogs, go ahead and check that out, as well as my Facebook, Twitter, and my Pinterest. See you guys later.